Our learning target for today is I can round to the tens place in a three digit number on a hundreds chart and a number line. So let's get started. First, let's look at some examples using the hundreds chart. Here's our first three digit number, 457. You may notice that the number 457 is not on this hundreds chart, but since we're rounding to the nearest 10, and our five is in the tens place, we know we'll look to the ones place to help us determine which 10 it's closest to. Let's just find the number 57 on our hundreds chart. So here's the number 57. 57 is between what two tens? It is between 50 and 60. So let's count. How far away is 57 from 60? So we would make one, two, three jumps up to get to 60. We would make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jumps back to get to 50. So is 57 closer to 50 or 60? It is closer to 50. So then, or sorry, it is closer to 60. So the number 457 is rounded up to 460 when rounded to the nearest 10. So the four stays the same because it's in the hundreds place and we're not rounding to the hundreds. The five is in the tens place and because 57 is closer to 60 than 50, we round up to 60, so 460. Now let's look at the second example. Round 314 to the nearest 10. Again, 314 is not on our hundreds chart, but 14 is. So let's find 14. What two tens is the number 14 in between? It is in between 10 and 20. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six places to get to 20, or one, two, three, four places to get to 10. So 14 is closer to 10 than 20. So when we're rounding 314, here's our tens place that we're gonna be rounding, and we're focusing on where this four is, and it is closer to 10, 14, than 20, so 314 rounded to the nearest 10 is 310. Now let's try an example on a number line. We need to round 686 to the nearest 10. So first let's fill in our number line. I know from looking back at my hundreds chart that 86 is between 80 and 90. So I'm going to put those numbers on my number line. So I have 680 and 690. This number line is going to be our vertical number line. Now, let's fill in the numbers in between. So this would be 681, 682, 83, 684, 685, 686, 687, 688, 689, and 690. So let's plot 686 on our number line. Six eighty one, six eighty two, six eighty three, six eighty four, six eighty five, six eighty six. This is 686. Now, looking at our number line, is 686 closer to 690 or closer to 680? And we see that it is closer to 690. So 686 rounded to the nearest 10 would be 690. As you can see, it is only one two, three, four jumps away. And this way it would be one, 
two, three, four, five, six jumps. Let's look at our last example. This is also a number line, it's just turned vertically. We can use it the same way. This time we're going to be rounding 831 to the nearest 10. So let's look back on our hundreds chart and we'll see that the number 31 is in between the tens of 30 and 40. So that's what I'm gonna put on my number line. I have 830 and I have 840. Now, we could make a halfway mark. We know that halfway in between 830, 840 is 835. We can also fill in the rest of our numbers on our number line. This would be 831, 832, 833, 834, here's 835, 836, 837, 838, 839, and 840. Now, we know this is our halfway point. So let's plot 831. Here is 831. Is 831 closer to 830 or 840? We see it's only one space away from 830. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 spaces away from 840. So 831 rounded to the nearest 10 is 830. Let's look back at our lesson, our learning target for today. I can round to the tens place in a three digit number on a hundreds chart and a number line. Now you will try some on your own. If you need extra support, please watch the video again and stop and rewatch as needed. If you still need support, please reach out to your teacher.